This right behind me is really ingenious. It's a flat packed van um, conversion kit. So these guys laser scan a van and then they CNC cut everything you need to fit out your own van and you just buy the full kit or the furniture kit or um, you know, whatever you like. So this is a, would be a Toyota Hiace with a door on the side where those people there are standing. And everything's made. It comes with the battery, the sink, the plumbing, the cabling, everything like that. And um, they support a whole bunch of vans and wow, what a great way. Anyone can put them together. And if apparently if you've got a new van, um, they just come along and scan it. It takes about four days to draw it up in CAD and then laser cut everything. Pretty ingenious idea for our people that are wanting to do the van life. All right, so these are next-gen caravans, and this is their family bunk model with an island bed up the front, and then bunks down behind me here. These things are beautiful. Look at these big residential um, sinks and tapware. More caravan companies really should be using residential sinks. Huge island bed. That's a beautiful bed. Nice big dinette. Yeah, bathroom in the back. These things are quite beautiful. So finally, a bunk model that has the bathroom wall here, so you're actually, you know, essentially you don't need that bunk railing we talked about. These ones come in a three bunk model as well. I'd be interested to see that. These are really beautiful. Another cool thing they've got that our poor Jaco does not have is that pantry. So we've got those really narrow, long shelves, which you have to reach down the back to grab tins of stuff. Look at that. Simple solution, pull out pantry in both the cupboards here. I mean. That's, that's ideal. Jayco, start putting those in your Jayco Journey Caravans. <laughs> Chelsea, what have you spotted? Well, um, the lovely lady here has also had twins and she let me know that there is a little hidden barrier here to stop them rolling out of bed, which is awesome. Look at that, that's genius. So one really amazing thing about these caravans is the payload weight. So these dry weight, the tear weight is two and a half ton but they are rated up to three and a half ton. So you get a payload weight of a thousand kgs. To put that into perspective, the Jayco's are pretty good, 450 kg payload in our Jayco. Some of the other caravans, you know, you're looking at a couple hundred kgs. So literally a thousand kgs of water, stuff, whatever. I mean, the, you know, these are made for serious off-grid living, you know? With being a little bit heavier, I mean, you just get that higher quality of like cabinets, struts, hinges, everything like that. It feels really solid, which is nice. We've been in a few today that feel a bit paper thin, but these, um, you know, everything's super solid. So Caravanning New Zealand on Instagram, link below, they put me onto these uh, next caravans. I've not heard of them before. I really wish we'd seen them before we bought our Chaco six months ago, or a year ago now. These are these things are really beautiful and 100% customizable, like colors. There's a lady who just um, ordered a yellow one. I think it was yellow on the inside and someone else who wanted a lime green colored one on the outside. So pretty nice you know fully customizable beautiful leather you know booth seating proper mattresses showers are really big which is quite nice um, big wide showers and you know tons of counter space look at this you know, just like a house really so one thing I really like about these as well out of the box two fresh water tanks 95 liters a piece and a gray water tank 95 liters as well so none of this like adding tanks on extra tanks whatever 
standard tanks is awesome and good solder as well 340 watts by default and two batteries so you know out of the box specs are really good on these right, this one yeah now this is in the same range this is a cool one it's got look a, like a bunk here that converts to a day bed with a flip down bunk up the top here which is really ingenious because you could sit in here during the day day bed read books that sort of thing and in the back here space for two motorbikes and more flip down bunks flip down bunks here fishing rod holders up the top and look the whole wall comes down <laughs> ramp both sides a ramp either side and you can fit two motorbikes in the back of this thing that is pretty cool So this is another rosy, rosy rival. This is the Royal Flare 5 berth with the island bed up the front. And check this out, every bunk and this one has a DVD player with a flip down screen. I don't know how I feel about that. What's on TV? It's a noise. Just a caravan with a deck. All right, Kovi Show 2020, done and dusted. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. It was a bit of a long day with the kids, but we got around everything. Saw some really cool vehicles there. So it's quite fun yeah. to go through them all. Now that the girls are eating solids, we actually had to like hide in an area and, <laughs> and feed them. And we didn't have our high chairs or anything, so we, we had to do that a few times. But they were really good. Harvey's snoring his head off now. He mm -hmm. tolerated the day very well. <laughs> we actually ended up seeing a lot of caravans we um, wish we'd seen potentially before we purchased this Jayco. Um, we went and looked at Inside Out RV and uh, they do the uh, next gen caravans and yeah. they were beautiful um, in the video you just watched you probably heard me harping on about them but they were really nice yeah. and um, and we also saw another one we really liked it had a uh, some kind of a club lounge down the back and then the bed came down so the van wasn't any longer and not much heavier and the, the queen bed lowered down out of the roof which was quite cool so yeah I think that was Royal Flair Royal Flair yeah they're the ones who do the, the balconies on the back mm. which look crazy Charles said oh we should get one of those ones for the dog so the dog can sit on it yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> seems like a good use of a balcony in an expensive caravan just for the dog so the dog can lie in the sun um yeah kind of brands we didn't look at unfortunately eh? the first time around we just yeah. looked at the the big brands and and made a decision there but um now you see the little th oh yeah that works a little bit better than that and that you know mm. um, but we're pretty lucky with the one we've got actually this is a yeah, nice Jayco so yeah. and it's suiting us just fine it's just a bit tricky when you see something a little bit nicer and you you know you instantly want it and um, I feel like there are a lot more three bunk options this time around than there was yeah. last year yeah we saw um, a lot of three bunk options mm. and some people like Royal Flair that do a whole family range yeah, mm. which is quite cool so they had like four or five different bunk in, in their range um, which is it's good to see um, all right we're gonna leave it there and tomorrow and for the next wee while we're gonna explore Auckland so stay tuned for that we're staying here at Ellerslie Racecourse again for a few more nights we're just gonna stay here base ourselves here and then um, cruise around so stay tuned for that thanks for watching see ya